Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 where I'm going to do a cold and dark start of the Wings 42 Boeing 247 after having successfully done it twice uh, both engines started on the first try so I'll describe my process because I think some people have had trouble with it and also there is some variation in how it works as far as timing is concerned at least judging from other tutorials on YouTube because I watched them and mine was just a little bit different but so I'll, I'll just go through it and show you what I do. The first thing to note is that you note that the throttle control, mixture control, and propeller control are all in the wrong place. Well, the throttle should be a little bit forward, but these are not in the right place. It'll work fine just like that. <laughs> and I'm, I'm now very superstitious about how to start it because since I got it to work, I just want to do it the same way over and over and over again. Uh, so I'm just going to leave them be until the engines start and then I'll push them into the right position and I'll show you that. Uh, so the first thing to note is that the battery, oh, we always start with the battery. The battery needs to be in, this is out, that's in. Uh, the master ignition switch needs to be in, that's out, that's in. Uh, magneto switch, uh, I just toggle them just to make sure so that I make sure they're on both. And then the primer selection needs to be, I'll start with the left engine first, and then this main valve needs to be on. And then I'm going to pull out the pad, make sure that we're fueled up. Um, so we have enough fuel, I mean it's good enough. Uh, state uh, preservation seems to be a little bit interesting here because I somehow have more oil than the last time I started this, but let's not talk about that for now. Uh, get ladder attach starter crank so I just want them to do those two first uh, so that it's ready for winding up the flywheel and then I'll start uh, getting stuff into uh, fuel into the engine so we want to take a look at this uh, fuel gauge here the left one for the left engine and we need to get that above five using this fuel wobble pump oh uh, we seem to have a fuel thing oh uh, if you do have this thing where it doesn't seem to be getting fuel in, uh, then first of all, make sure that the primer plunger is in. Second of all, just toggle the engine distributor dial. This determines where the fuel is going to be going. So we're going to go to both and then toggle the tank selector. So now that I've done that, let's see. Yes, the fuel you can see is going into both. You could just select one at a time. And unfortunately, when I do this wobble pump, it brings up the menu up there. But I want it above 5 on that dial, which is straight up. And then we are going to... Oh, uh, let's prime the engine first, uh, making sure it stays above 5. So I'm going to get it above 5. Uh, pull the primer plunger four times, I do. Three, four, out and in. Bring out the pad, wind up the flywheel. Keep the fuel wobble pump above 5 about the menu just keep it as high as possible <laughs> above five is what we want and some other videos said wait a while after it shows mesh flywheel for me it's immediate i have to hit it immediately and then it starts if i wait it doesn't seem to i've done innumerable variations of what you've just seen and it really only works if i do it exactly the same way uh oh it stopped no! Okay, maybe I should... let. Uh, now, this is different. Now, uh, it has happened differently. I'm gonna move the mixture lever and propeller levers forward and move the throttle control a little bit higher up. And let's pump it up again. I'll prime it again. One, two, three, four. And keep it get up there. Wind up the oh uh, they pulled away the ladder and the star crank. Well, I'm gonna keep it pumped up until they get in there. But also, I think the manual said between three and five. I did not find that to work very well. Okay, mesh flywheel. Okay. Hopefully it'll stay started. I'm gonna move up the throttle a little bit. Okay, we gotta switch the engine selector to right. 
Might as well select the manifold pressure gauge to right there. Okay, those are fine. Engine distributor dial is still both of them. And actually, it's better that it quits so that we see what happens when... Technically, the parking brake should be on. Guess I'll put it on now. Okay, before I do the wobble pump, we're going to install the thingamajigs, the ladder, and get the start crank in. Okay, uh, so now put that away so that we can reach the primer. Uh, fuel wobble pump up to five. You could just do right here because well, I think you can. Because it does pump the fuel on the left engine really high like that. Four. Okay, wobble pump more. Okay, pad. Wind up flywheel. Keep up the thing beyond five. Again, that's just how it was for me, beyond five. If only I could disable the menu. <laughs> uh, okay, and mesh flywheel immediately. Okay, it looks like it's gonna go. By the way, I have killed both engines in flight already. Uh, I'm almost pleased by that. There were flames coming out of the right one. <laughs> I had to use the fire extinguisher, so that was nice. Okay, so that's that. They should have pulled the ladder away automatically. We've got them both going. Let's see, how's our manifold pressure? Well. Okay, gotta release the brakes, and let's see if I can taxi it all. Well, oh, that might be too fast. Oh, I'm a speed demon. Ah, I need to work on my taxiing with this. Oh, oh, we're taking off already. Oh, hold on. Whatever, we're taking off now. So yes, don't imitate my taxiing technique with this. That's still a work in progress, but... That was my startup procedure. I'm not gonna belabor this video. That is how it works for me. Again, you might have to delay when to hit the mesh flywheel button. It's not the first time I've encountered a timing issue when it comes to these sorts of procedures. Uh, for instance, with the PMDG DC-6, at a certain point you have to hit two buttons, uh, and that occurs after the automatic and the artificial flight engineer says 12, at least that's what it is in the instructions and in their instructional videos. But I found that if I do that after they say 12, it's too late and the engine doesn't start. But if I do it between 9 and 12, it works. It, I don't know. It depends on how things are coded. Sometimes it's finicky. But anyway, that was my procedure with it that got it to work. And I just thought I would report it if it helps somebody out there to get this plane up and running. Uh, so with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.